Working Man Reads here, and judging by the title, you now know that I'm going to try to lump my next two months, the, pretty much the remainder of the summer, into this TBR. So, I will be doing a monthly wrap-up at the end of the month, but as I was trying to put together my July TBR, it was getting more and more ambitious, and I am a realist, and there is no chance in hell that I will read 11 books, or whatever this turned out to be. So... I'm going to do a couple months worth, you know, and uh, hope for the best. So we're going to start off with the books that I'm carrying over from June into July. I will finish those first, hopefully, but I am taking a trip here for the 4th of July, and I might just read whatever I want to read. So um, Bloodkin by Ronald Kelly, the vampire novel. I am buddy reading it with Spooky Noodles. Congratulations again on winning the giveaway. I appreciate you, buddy. And, uh, yeah, Nick and I are reading this, and we're enjoying it. I also have started Cyan Das's short story collection. He sent it to me for a review, and I'm very thankful for it. Um, and uh, he was actually the first author to approach me to read his book. And uh, so he'll always have a, a place, place on my channel. So I'm going to finish this also in the beginning week here. And then I also am going to finally get back to The Dark Tower. I'm going to continue it. Um, I made it almost 70% of the way through this one, Wizard in Glass, which is number four in the series, and uh, it's not my favorite um, of the series so far, I'll, I'll say that much. So I might actually listen to the audiobook and see if that helps me get through it. Um, I know Brad's read that, and uh, yeah, so there's that. I'm not going to read the synopsises for all these because we'd be here all day. So next is going to be Hunger on the Chisholm Trail by M. Ennenbach. It is number two on the Splatter Western series. And uh, I, I do want to write a Western also. And so I, uh, I'm going to read a lot of different Westerns coming up. I have been this year, and that's kind of been what I've been doing is reading a lot of westerns, so I'm going to carry on and, and read this. It's a horror western. And then we have The River by Peter Heller. It's a thriller. Um, a buddy on Goodreads approached me to, to read this with him, so uh, I'm a little bit behind, but I, I might actually read this on my trip. This might be the perfect one because it's about two young guys going camping, and then some crazy crap starts happening, and it's just, it seems like it's going to be the perfect camping read for me. So this might be the one I do. But the next one, now that one, for sure, for sure, is a camping read. So here we go, in my opinion, because it's a down south, southern lit, bad boy, David Joy, where all light tends to go. Brad sings its praises. I don't know many people that have read this book that didn't like it. It's a grungy, dirty, just story about a young man trying to overcome his family's past and be a better person. So there's that. And back by popular demand, Kings of the Wild, I am going to try to read this this month. Um, I thought about it, and I'm not going to officially put it down. I'm, I'm going to give it a go. I was enjoying the story. I really was. I just was like out of the phase of wanting to read fantasy for a little bit but then now this week I'm like I could totally read a fantasy book so <laughs> I'm gonna pick uh Kings of the Wild back up it's about a band of uh old, older guys that were like mercenaries and uh there's some comedy in it and uh basically they're going to try to save a uh one of the the brothers family members next is going to be a buddy read with Danny over at Spinelli Speaks we are going to read Sense and Sensibility uh, yes, Jane Austen, my first Jane Austen novel, I'm going to read it, I guess it's Jane Austen July or something like that, I'll probably tag that, hashtag it up in there, up in the description, but yeah, I'm going to, Working Man is about to read some uh, Jane Austen, some romance, and I'm excited about it, it's going to be fun, and we're going to buddy read it and talk about our thoughts, I'm going to give my man manly perspective on it, you know what I mean? And uh, see if I think uh, this 
the main character is is really cool and being sense sense uh, having a lot of sense or sensibility. <laughs> there was a joke there to be made, but I, I screwed it up. <laughs> I'm excited though; it's gonna be fun. And I didn't realize it was Jane Austen July or what have you. So that's a perfect. That's a recipe for just being cool. And then uh, next is going to be a debut novella. I did have this on ebook, and then I just was, I'm just not in the ebook mood, man. So I went ahead and ordered it and bought Joshua Marcella's Scratches. And I'm going to read this bad boy. This might actually be uh, read pretty quick. It's It's got some like smaller pages. So uh, after I finish Cyan Dasa's, this might be the next independent um horror that i pick up so uh shout out to josh if you haven't checked this one out please check it out it's it's pretty cheap on uh kindle but so is the paperback so feel free to go grab this it's a pretty cool uh support the horror community he's pretty active and he's a really nice guy um and then next will be a sci-fi fantasy it's uh red rising i knew it was blowing up on booktube a while ago and uh, I'll read the synopsis for this because it's literally a sentence. His wife taken, his people enslaved, driven by longing for justice and the memory of lost love. Daro will stop at nothing to bring down his enemies, even if it must become one of them. Even if he must become one of them to do so. For the first time, red will rise. So basically it's a, like a class system based on like a color. And so there's like red, gold, silver, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, I've heard so many good things about this. So I'm going to definitely be checking out Red Rising um, this this upcoming month, maybe next month. And then this one, this is also on the possible camping reads. And uh, that is Werewolves Run. I forget if it was uh, John at Books of Blood that reviewed this or what. But it's a werewolf story, and it's uh, the forests of Bavaria harbor something sinister, something wild. Many villagers turn a blind turn a blind eye to what lurks there, but those who believe tremble at the m mere whisper of the word werewolf. So I'll stop there because I hate synopsises lately. And so it's by Jason Parent. It's also probably indie indie horror. So I'd like to get that with priority. And then we got a little hatred. Joanne McCrombie, and uh, yeah, I haven't read all the books before this, but I guess this is a separate storyline, so I'm a savage, and I'm going to start at the end. I'm going to start with the first book in this trilogy and skip the five for now. Not saying forever. Don't, don't at me in the comments. I appreciate you guys. I know that's a blasphemy. That is a horrible thing to do. You cannot start a series, but just look at this. And I've heard just, it's got like a 4.5 on Goodreads with like 2K reviews. I want to check this one out. <laughs> and then we got, finally, last but not least, I'm going to take my time with this one. That's why I'm putting it last because I am going to read it. It might take me two months to get through it. Um, but I really want to give McCammon his just do and give him every inch of thought I can and not try to rush through it. So I'm going to read Gone South. Timmy sent me this from Lost Cunningham, and I'm super excited. I'm going to give it a go. And, uh, yeah, so that's been my TBR. It's kind of the July and August TBR. So thank you for watching. I'm also going to be reading some writing books that didn't go in the TBR because they're just going to be, like, reference for me. I'm going to read Stephen King on writing and then Chuck Palahniuk. Uh, consider this. I just ordered this not too long ago. So I'm super stoked. I'm very excited for the coming months. I'm excited about the buddy reads that I have going on. I'm excited uh, for all the new subscribers. Thank you. I was at like 126 today when I checked. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and most of all, comment because I'm trying to talk to you guys about books. So this has been Working Man Reads. Peace.